What is that? Ugh. Hi! Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Um, last week we had a paint with me video, no voiceover, nothing special, just uh, sped up. Was it sped up? I think it was sped up. A sped up piece of a red panda. Um, a lot of you liked it, so I was very happy to hear that. And I will do more of those in the future. But the reason why this video was a little different is because I was so busy with the new shop update for March 22nd, which is, if this video is online, the next day. Oh, isn't it exciting? It is Monday the 15th, a week before the release of my new collection. So this is my dehydrator and it's on the lowest setting. I rarely put it up. And this is Kilton, which I topped off extra. They are drying pretty good. This is a extra shell of Kilton or Zora. Hold on. Oh, Zora. It's Zora. Is it? No, it's Kilton. And here we have Zora, my little trouble child, because it keeps cracking, even though I fixed my binder to pigment ratio. So, yeah, maybe it just doesn't like the dehydrator. But last week, I tested it in some shells and it didn't crack. So, what is up, girl? And then here we have Kilton. Hello. Oh, you're so pretty. So, I leave them to dry um, usually until we go to bed, then I turn it off and yeah, this speeds up the drying process and especially the harding process because you do not want sticky half pans in your set. <laughs> Okay, I think we have enough wrapping foil and wrapping paper. We have the labels, so I can close this up. So. That was it. Look at this hole, my god. My man. So shiny.
Okay, so now we're gonna wrap these babies and here we have a little shell of Kilton. So what I'll be doing first is paint enough legs for Kilton. I'd like to add a background, even though it's not always necessary. I like doing this because it removes all the distraction from um, things around. So yeah, let's go down very low. Um, need some extra light. Know, I talked about the Mystical Forest collection a lot on my Instagram. It's a collection of six beautiful matte paints. They are moody, they are mysterious, they are dark, they are granulating and just oh. Also what I wanted to talk to you about is I made grab bags. I made a lot of grab bags you guys and I am actually I don't know why, but I'm somehow super excited to sell these because of the following. Okay, look. So these are the grab bags. Uh, they're called the Bingo Grab Bags. Why Bingo? Because that's my bird's name. <laughs> and every grab bag contains a various uh, amount of shells, experimental shells with paint. And every set includes two half pans. So they are all freaking unique. So all the profit that I make of these grab bags will go to my local wild bird animal shelter. Um, Stichting Vogelklas Karel Schot in Rotterdam. And I worked there for a while as a volunteer. I was a mama bird. And they basically operate all of donations. And whenever there is a huge oil spill, like a couple of years ago, we had a huge oil spill um, in uh, Rotterdam and a lot of swans were doused in oil. It was so sad. And um, I helped clean them up. <laughs> you know, you do not just save this one baby bird that fell out of the nest. No, every summer, Every spring and every summer we get hundreds and hundreds of birds, not only baby birds, but also their parents, like this whole family of ducks, mom, dad, just because they lost their um, living area due to 
basically people. And we also get a lot of seagulls that smashed into high storage buildings because they are not used to flying to the city, but because their food is scarce at sea, they usually fly inland and that is when they get in trouble. Uh, fishing lines, cigarette butts, we get a lot of sick doves. I'm really enjoying to sell these bags and give all the profits to the animal shelter because who doesn't love birds? Grab bags! So now you know a little bit more about my launch. The only thing I wanted to talk about is the names of the colors. So here we go. The names. Madness, Gerudo, Korok, Kilton, Zora, and Rito. Hi, it's Saturday and I realized I haven't even swatched my paints for you guys. So that is what we are going to do now. And I wanted to tell you, I finally got my hands on a etcher sketchbook. So I think I talked about it on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and my friend Caitlin actually uh, sent me one of her spare sketchbooks which is so 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 sweet um, I'm loving it so much and she said look I've got a spare one if you want I can send you this and I said you know yeah I will definitely buy that from you um, so we made a little deal and here it is thank you so much and we're going to do some swatches in this sketchbook so let's do it is it frame? Yeah. Ta -da. So here they are. Well, here are all my own. <laughs> well, here are all my own paints, but here they are: Madness, Korok, Kilton, Zora, Gerudo, and Rito. So we're gonna start here with Madness. Should really work on my swatch game. Wee! <laughs> Hi! Thank you 
guys so much for watching if you like this video smash the like button um, if you'd like to see more content like this on my channel please subscribe i hope to make this kind of content more often in the future i know i'll be making a lot more paints and i want to bring you all into this adventure maybe teach you a little thing one or two i don't know maybe you guys can teach me something and i hope to see you soon bye